Hi there, my name is Rocky Taylor and this is Behind the Stamps. Hello and welcome. First this week we have our stunt reel feature. Our subject this week is Kent Dumond, world champion high diving to punch-ups and parkour. All featured in this reel. What do you want? Now, last month I spoke with legendary British stuntman Rocky Taylor about his 53 years in the business. We had a chat about some of those incredible moments in his career, starting with his first ever stunt. Rocky, tell me, uh, what is your first memory of stunt work? Well, it goes back quite a long way. I sort of remember being with my mother and father when I was five or six years old and I was in a tandem cycle bike. Mum was on the back and Dad was on the front and we had to go across this railway crossing and uh, Dad put me in so I presumed and think that that must have been a stunt work. So on Death Wish Mark Boyle and yourself, you've, you've been taken up to the roof, you know what the situation is. Yeah. So what happened during that sequence, during that take? Well, the sequence of events was supposed to be light the building, building the light, turn over the cameras. When the cameras were turning, it was going to be action, rocky. So I'm now waiting for the instructions, light the building, turn over, rocky. When they lit the building, it went up like an inferno. Within seconds, it was 17 feet high, 
and about five or six feet deep, which by all intents and purposes, it wasn't supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be a little bit of flame. I get to the edge, I jump, and as I jump, they blow it up behind me. But unfortunately, it didn't happen that way. I couldn't go because of the black, the, the, the flames. And then when I turned around to go with the emergency exit, which I have, it was just full of black smoke because the petrol tank blew up and that was just black smoke. So I had to reverse myself backwards to where it was a bit clearer and looked over the edge of both sides but couldn't get to the front because of the flames. It was so hot, my eyebrows were burning and I just thought I could hear Mr Winner saying, go Rocky, go Rocky, and I, it was just too hot. But as I was standing there, I could hear the building around me collapsing and falling down. And I thought, if I don't go now, I'm going to be like a Kentucky Fried Chicken. So I made a decision to go through the flames and I got burnt on the way through my face. I put my hands up to protect my eyes, but my hands got burnt and I just had white marks where the hands were. And uh, I ended up in hospital for 10 weeks. So it was a, an horrific occasion. I don't think I can blame myself. It was caused by a special effects man who was a bit frightened of Mr. Winner and didn't want a little explosion that he did a couple of days before. He wanted the explosion to be a, a good one, but he didn't realise something went wrong that the petrol tank caught fire and exploded. That's all I can remember. On uh, Last Crusade, you were Sean Connery's double. Yeah, I was Sean Connery's double in the motorbike when it was being chased. I was in the sidecar. Mm -hmm. And then I also did a sequence inside the big, I call it house or whatever it was, yeah, castle. Chateau, that's right. Where the carpet catches fire and Harrison and Sean are tied to a chair. And Sh Harrison says to Sean, let's bounce the chair towards the fireplace to get away from the flames so that's what we did the, the place was on fire and we bounced the chair towards the fire getting away from the heat and it was quite quite a day because when I finished that sequence I got a round of applause off of Spielberg and Sean Connery and it's only because I knew, and somebody else knew, the first assistant, Dave Tomlinson, that that day was the 19th of January at four o'clock, exactly the same time that I had the accident in 1985, that I'm now doing a fire job on exactly the same day and exactly the same time as the accident. So they gave me a cheer and it was very emotional that day. So, you know, funny how things go. But we did the job and it, it was very hot, but we, it was okay. I doubled for Sean and Harrison did it himself. Tied hands. There you go. And finally this week, we look at the stunt heroes of the silent era, including Buster Keaton, Harold Lloyd, Charlie Chaplin and Pearl White. Stunts by them. Music by Mozart.
Well, that's just about it for this week. We look forward to seeing you all again next week for more of the same. Bye-bye for now.